Hello everybody, this is Mick Nick and I'm back with another video. Today I'm in uh, processing and I've implemented the merge sort algorithm in here. Uh, today I'm not going to show you how the merge sort algorithm actually works because there are a lot there is a lot of documentation on this topic but I'm going uh, to show you how you can use my implementation and uh, how you can modify it to your own needs. Now uh, as we can see uh, the code is uh, on the github uh, you can just go there and check it out but uh, we can see here uh, we have unsorted array uh, of uh, some uh, integers and we have uh, public arrays of result and result in set indexes uh, and I'm creating here the merge uh, sort object uh, this is essentially the whole algorithm uh, you you can ex everything is comment uh, commented so you can go over and check out every line of code what it does and uh, I analyze the algorithm it's n log n complexity but what I'm doing is I'm just passing down sorted array and by default, uh, by default, the merge sort algorithm will sort it in the increasing order or we say non decreasing order. And, uh, if you want to grab the results, it's just the uh, object that result is the whole array sorted array and result indexes, uh, is the object that result indexes is the, is an array with index uh, with uh, the index with the original indexes of or with the original indices of the uh, of the elements now now in the sorted way i'm going to show you like i'm going uh, now i'm going to demonstrate how it uh, what it does now as you can see the unsorted array i have printed it here on screen because for for a better uh, explanation now a down sorted array is three five one three uh, two nine uh, nine eight. It's uh, seven uh, integers, and the three is repeating two times. And we're gonna see that the merge sort algorithm is a stable one. It's a stable algorithm. And now it says this is the sorted array here: one, two, three, three, five, eight, nine. And it says one with original index at two. And if we see this is zero, one, two. It's actually, uh, this is actually true and you don't need to have uh, another memory, another N uh, memory to actually store the indexes. Actually, you need another N memory, but the algorithm takes care, care of it. Uh, and you don't need to implement anything else. It just, uh, the algorithm actually works uh, storing the indexes and then uh, well, when you got, you, uh, when you want the result, the stored, actually the stored array here, uh, he, uh, he goes to the indexes and says, uh, at index two is the smallest number, uh, what is the smallest number? And you say zero, one, two, well, it's one. Okay. And now this is how it works. We can, we can, for demonstration, we can add one more nine and we can see that it actually accepts one more nine. It's uh, like accepts uh, any n a number of uh, digits, but uh, uh, n number of integers. But uh, I added one nine here, and here it adds one nine. But I wanted to show you that this is a stable algorithm, and you can see that three and three is uh, it says three with original index at zero. And then three with the original index at three. We say this is zero and this is the third index here. Uh, and what it means by stable, it means that the order is, um, is the same. If there are two, uh, two equivalent, uh, two, uh, same numbers, same integers, it, they will keep, uh, their order. So it goes first the zeroth and then the third. Uh, at the third index here and it doesn't go three zero and it does the same thing uh, with the nine uh, first the nine uh, at the fifth index and the nine at the seventh index so I hope I uh, you can understand it now here I'm just displaying the unsorted and the sorted array for demonstration purposes
Uh, as, uh, if you want to see how the algorithm works, check it out on GitHub. Maybe I will do another video uh, on uh, on uh, the algorithm itself. If if you're interested, uh, just post it in the comments uh, below. Post what you're interested uh, about and ha ha if you have any idea uh, at explo exploiting the algorithm even more. And that's pretty much it for today guys I want to uh, make it a really quick and a really short demonstration uh, you can try yourselves uh, you can try it yourselves with uh, any uh, any uh, kind uh, any uh, length of uh, of array and any numbers in it yeah that's it for today guys uh, thanks for watching I hope I helped and uh, see you again